And let's go over to meteorologist Hannah Schull to talk about what we can expect out the door for the rest of the day. Hannah? Yeah, well, when you're on the ground there, you can see the, the damage that this tornado caused. And I think in some spots, that's probably EF2 damage there. This is a live look, or not a live look. Oh, my goodness. Thank goodness. This is not a live look. This is from the Seminole tornado last night. This is in Maud. Some greenhouses <laughs> that are just being utterly destroyed by this tornado as it moves through. So the damage is far reaching from this storm. Points are probably going to be EF0. Points probably going to be EF2. Again, the NWS is going to be out there surveying it. You can see the damage just lofted into the air. Those trailers just completely knocked over. And then you can see there's a tornado right there. There are multi, there's multiple tornadoes. Uh, uh, David called them sister tornadoes. And um, it was a multi-vortex system. The actual area of circulation was a mile, two miles wide. And... <laughs> Um, it, we're really lucky that the entire circulation didn't touch down and it was just a couple small circulations that kept touching down for many miles as this strong storm moved through. Here's some video from Bob Mel Sky News 9 as he was, Jim Gardner was in the air, best in the business, catching these tornadoes as they moved through Seminole and then Crowell. And these are the tornado reports. Most of them are going to be from that one storm as tornadoes continually touch down, multiple ones sometimes at the same time. The preliminary count is up to 13. It is subject to change as crews get out and start assessing the damage. So the NWS will get those numbers to us once they come, become available. But we're still seeing some rain and heavy rain at times as well. So the showers start to the west of the metro, just to the east of Clinton. We're seeing rain through El Reno on I-40 all the way into Oklahoma City, up through Okarshi and Kingfisher on Highway 81 and to Hennessy as well. Those heavier showers are to the north again in Ponca City and Fairfax, Sooner Lake also seeing some of that heavy rain and we are seeing some lightning as well in these storms but nothing is severe at this time your chance of rain and storms is going to decrease as we head into this afternoon the the metro drives dries out and then to the north and east still seeing some of those showers there's your look on water vapor imagery you see this dry air behind it that's going to dry us out high pressure is going to build in we're going to be seeing some much quieter weather here for the next few days this is in Guthrie a live picture right now we have that low cloud deck 61 degrees is what you're walking out the door to part of our Pike Pass sky cam network your temperatures are going to stay largely in the middle and lower 60s that cloud cover is going to be part of our story for the first portion of the day but then I think we'll start to see some clearing later this afternoon Afternoon. We start continue to see those showers in Ponca City and Stillwater heading towards the Tulsa area. And then by this afternoon and evening, really, it's just the northeastern corner of the state that's still seeing that rain. And then we clear out as far as cloud cover goes here in the metro as well. So we'll see more sunshine by the afternoon and evening. After that, hot air starts to build in from the south. And this afternoon, uh, well, as we head into the next few days, temperatures are going to be warming greatly as we head into the weekend. So this, these are your temperatures this afternoon. 65, we're 10 degrees below average for this time of year. And then tonight we get back into the upper 40s, a little bit of a chillier night. Tomorrow afternoon, upper 70s, we start that warming trend, especially in the west, 87 in Guymon. And then by Saturday, 86 degrees. Your afternoon temperature in Oklahoma City, people in the west feeling like the 90s and upper 90s, even the low 100s. Your mother today, it's looking good. We are expecting um, it to be sunny for much of the day, or for all of the day, actually, and we stay quiet until later in the week next week. Stay with us. We'll be back here in just a little bit.